Hello, my name is Tom Roberts and I'm a lecturer in environmental sociology at the University of Surrey. I teach a number of modules on the BSc Media and Communications degree. Today I want to give you a very brief introduction to one of the lectures I give on the first year module Media, Communication and Society. In this introduction I want to demonstrate how the highly mediated representation of the environment often presented by the media has a huge impact on the way in which we see the natural world, the damage which is being done to it, and the potential ways we may be able to address these issues in the future. Magical forests, cute baby animals, uh, coloured coral reefs, large charismatic animals wandering across, wandering across perfect landscapes are all common portraits of the nature in the media. These images are visually appealing, attract attention and encourage people to engage with the subject being discussed. Quite often, something completely unrelated such as an advert for a product. These are all images which make us happy and promote a positive vibe. An alternative sort of representation of the environment in the media though is um, the nature is, is portraying nature as scary, as remote, as dangerous. Also, certain animals are portrayed as highly dangerous and enemies of the human race. Just think about kind of sharks and the way in which they have been represented um, in the press, um, from the um, from the Jaws movies to, to news reports about attacks um, on human beings. When in reality, kind of more people die each year from dog attacks um, um, in 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 the domestic environment than they do from shark attacks. But sharks have been kind of vilified as this evil kind anti-human um, kind of uh, creature which is sort of very very damaging to their representation um, and uh, and their their protection but neither of these representations the kind of the beautiful the wonderful the amazing the magical um, uh, natural environment um, or the kind of the scary the dangerous um, the, the, the wild um, representation um, of the media are particularly helpful um, because on the one hand we have the impression that the environment is pristine and doesn't need protection and on the other hand, we have the impression that it is so dangerous it should be avoided. Having said that, we are increasingly seeing a growth in the representation of environmental damage and destruction. However, this tends to focus on the very dramatic and visually impressive uh, types of environmental um, destruction. So, for example, in recent years, we've seen a lot of attention to plastic pollution, um, rainforest destruction, wildfire fires, and the killing of large charismatic animals such as whales, which we can kind of relate to. Um, these topics are appealing to the media as they are relatively straightforward to explain and can be illustrated with dramatic footage and amazing pictures. However, these are not necessarily the most serious environmental concerns or the ones that actually require the most attention. Things like soil erosion, the decline of invertebrates, the impact of intensive meat production and climate change itself all pose major challenges and need a great deal of exposure in the media. However, things like these are all complex and difficult to explain and often don't have the dramatic footage which can be used to illustrate uh, key points. It's not just the environment itself which is subject to mediated representation, but people working to raise awareness and campaign against environmental destruction. Certain people fighting for a particular cause are represented very positively. David Attenborough, for example, has done an amazing job over the last um, kind of 50 years or so of bringing kind of the natural environment to people's front rooms. Um, he is seen kind of as a national treasure um, and someone which is hugely respected um, by, um, by, by the general, general public. We also see kind of campaigners such as Greenpeace campaigning um, against um, whaling. Whales are large charismatic um, animals which people can, 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 can relate to and many people are horrified um, by kind of their killing and their hunting um, for, for food. But when the same campaigners, often Greenpeace and other campaign, campaigning groups, try and campaign for something like kind of climate change, against um, a new runway, um, against um, investment in, in fo fo fossil fuel, fuels, things which are kind of less visually appealing, things which people can relate to, um, uh, in which people, things which people can't relate to um, in the same way. They are often portrayed in a very negative way as troublemakers, as nutters, as people um, that we don't really want to kind of associate, associate with. And this kind of does a lot of damage um, to um, the environmental movement. 
So understanding these issues, such as how the environment is represented in the media, how people campaigning uh, to protect the environment are represented um, in, in the media, is actually kind of critical if we are to kind of work to find uh, solutions to some of these problems. In the media and comms degree, we teach you a range of theoretical and practical approaches for understanding the media representation in a wide range of topics from kind of healthcare, the environment, um, drugs and alcohol, um, and all of these kind of things which are kind of represented in a particular way in the press, which doesn't necessarily represent the reality um, on the ground. We give you kind of the skills to critically analyse um, media content, which is crucial for a whole range of careers you might go into when you leave university.